Hello Rail fans, and welcome to French Fry Trains. Today we're going to do something we haven't done in a while, and we're going to be building another caboose. And we're going to be building this old Pennsylvania Railroad caboose here. And this is what it looks like, so let's get right into it. French Fry Trains is a channel for adult rail fans and minecrafters, and is not intended for children under 13 years of age. This is a fan channel for fun. We are not affiliated in any way with Microsoft or Mojang. This is not an official Minecraft product. And as a friendly reminder, I do not take requests at all. Thank you and enjoy the video. So we're gonna start off with the coupler. So take out a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer in the middle. Under it, we're gonna put a sideways dark oak bench gate in the center. And then crouch and put two more sideways fence gates in the middle. Coming off this stair, we're gonna go five wide of red terracotta. And then under the outer corner, we're gonna put a mangrove slab. Make sure it's on the corner. Same thing on this side, put a mangrove slab under this corner. Then we're gonna go and put two bamboo slabs here like this, two on this side. Then on the next block forward in front of this fence gate, put a netherite wheel on each rail and an end rod axle between them. Put a deep slate tile stair going this way on the side of each wheel. Then in front of the wheels here, we're gonna go five wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs in a back to back T-shaped pattern like this. In front of this, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle and then a backward facing right side up stair on each of these wheels. On the outer edge, put a wither skeleton skull on each corner and two dark oak fence gates in the middle. And repeat that on this side here, just like that. Next, in front of this on the bottom middle, we're gonna do a line of black stone brick top slabs in the center. And we're gonna make that a total of eight blocks long. Then in front of that, put another right wheel on each rail again, and rod axle. Then a forward facing deep slate tile stair on the side of each wheel. Then again in front of this, we're gonna go five wide of upside down deep slate tile stairs in a back to back T-shaped pattern. Then in front of this, we're gonna put another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then a backward facing deep slate tile stair on the side of these two wheels. Then again, we're gonna put a wither skeleton skull on each side, two fence gates in the middle. And repeat that on this side here. Then we're gonna go in front of this on the bottom middle and crouch, and we're gonna put three sideways dark oak fence gates down the center right here. Next, we're gonna go in here on one side above the rail. We're gonna put a line of sideways chains across this side going from wheel to wheel here. Then on the opposite side of these slabs we're going to put two grindstones here, one here. Then come back up on this end on the second layer and we're going to go three wide on the top middle with our black stone brick blocks right in the center. And we're going to bring it right over this truck and at this end we need to stop two blocks before the last fence gate here, like this. Then up here go five wide of red terracotta. Then we're gonna put a dark oak stair going this way on this last fence gate in the middle for the coupler. Come under the corner here, and we're gonna put a mangrove slab under this corner, and a mangrove slab under this corner. Then right here, we're gonna put two bamboo slabs like this. And then two on this side as well. And then on this top outer edge, just start at one end here. And we're gonna do a full row of mangrove top slabs going end to end across here. And then same thing on this side, a full row of mangrove top slabs going end to end across here as well. Just like that. Then come right here, put an oak trap door here and here. And in the middle, two rows of three oak slabs. Repeat on this end. So a trap door here and here, and then two rows of three slabs in the middle here. 
right here go five wide of red terracotta and then we're going to come all the way down this top outer edge with red terracotta then right here come straight across to the other side and then back up this outer edge then we're going to put a mangrove door in the middle here and then one in the middle here then take red terracotta here and we're going to do these L shapes facing inward on each side then put a cyan glass block here and here repeat that on this side so these L shapes of red terracotta glass block here and here then on this outer edge we're going to do another layer of red terracotta all the way across the outside edge same thing on that side another layer of red terracotta across here Then, on this corner, in this corner, put a bamboo fence gate. And then repeat on this side and put a bamboo fence gate here and here. Next, go back to your red terracotta. And on each end, we're gonna put one here and here, one here and here. Then skip one in a single block here and here. Same thing on this side. Then add cyan stained glass panes here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here. Finally, put a row of red terracotta across this middle on each side. Then we need to raise it up one more layer. So we're just gonna go all the way around this top outside edge with our red terracotta here. And a big rectangle. Then we're gonna go on the end. And in this corner, we're gonna do a column of four mangrove fences right here then four right here. Then one on the middle here and a mangrove fence gate here and here. Then we need to get inside here to put our brake wheel on. So we're gonna crouch and we need to get a jungle trap door on this middle fence and close it so we have a brake wheel there. Then we'll do the other end so come down here on the corner, a column of four mangrove fences here, and a column of four right here. Then one on this bottom middle, and a fence gate here and here. Then a column of four mangrove fence gates here, and then on this end on the left hand pole, a column of four mangrove fence gates here for the ladder. Next on the end above the door, put a glow item frame, and inside of it, put a redstone block. On this side, a birch sign, on this side, two birch buttons up here. Repeat that on this end, so up here, two birch buttons, glow item frame with a redstone block, and then a birch sign. Then we're gonna add some detailing, and this will be to represent the lettering. So we're gonna start under this window, and we're gonna knock out a row of this layer coming across until we're under this window on the other side. Fill that with a row of quartz blocks. Then centered under the quartz blocks in the middle, we're gonna put a row of four birch signs in the center. Then on this bottom corner, we're gonna put three birch buttons here. And on this corner, one button. We need to repeat the whole process on the other side. So come over here, start under this window, knock out this row, and bring it over till you're under this window at the other side. Again, fill that with quartz blocks. Then centered under the quartz blocks, four birch signs. In this corner, put three birch buttons. And on this side, one button. Then come up here. Now on top, right here, put a black wool, and right here. Same thing on this side, so here and here. Then take cyan stained glass paint, one here and here, one here and here, and then a black wool in the middle on each end like this. Then on the sides, we're gonna put two black wool in the center, and then a single stained glass pane in all four of these gaps. Then on top of this, we're gonna fill the whole roof of this cupola section, five wide, with our black stone brick slabs, so that it's all covered here. Next, we'll do the rest of the roof. So come on one end in the middle and do a line of black stone brick slabs down the center here. 
until it's aligned with these fences here. Repeat on this side so a line of slabs down the middle to your line with these fences on the end. And then for the next part, we're going to have to crouch and align with these slabs. We're going to go too wide with dark oak trap doors and bring it over to here or whatever color trap door you want to use to represent the black. Repeat on this side, so on the side of these slabs, fill it too wide with your dark oak trap doors as well. And bring it right down to the end here. And then of course, we have to repeat for the other side. So same thing, we're gonna crouch. And on the side of these slabs, just fill it too wide with trap doors. And bring that down to the end here. One more corner to go, same thing on this side. Too wide with dark oak trap doors over here as well. So that the whole top is filled in. Then there is one vent on the top of this here. So we're gonna take out a netherite block and we're gonna knock out this one slab here and put a netherite block there. Now we'll do the interior. So come on inside the end here. And on bottom here, inside we're going to fill the whole floor in with oak planks or whatever color wood you want the floor to be. Then we're going to take polished tough and under this stained glass pane here put a column of three here. Same thing on this opposite side. Repeat for this end so under this window a column of three here and a column of three here. Then we're going to come in down on one end, put a black stone brick stair here and here, and rod here and here. Turn around and a stair going this way here and here, and a trap door on each end rod for tables. Then we'll fill in this middle section, so we're going to come over in here. And we're going to put an end portal here, then a two by two of polished tough, two bookshelves here. On top, put a black stone brick stair going this way up here, this way up here, for the seats in the cupola. Turn this way and put a door over this end portal. On this side, a 2x2 two two of tough here, and a 2x2 two two of bookshelves right here. Then again, we'll add the seats up in the cupola, so put one here and one here. Then if you want to actually be able to climb up here, put two ladders here and two here. And now we'll move down to this other end here. Right here on one side, put a blast furnace here, polished deep slate wall, two of them above it. Then a sideways barrel here and here. Here, put a cauldron, fill it with water, hit it with a light blue dye. Crouch and put a white carpet on the top of each of these two barrels here. Then for the other side, we're gonna put a bed here this way, a bed here this way. And now the interior is all completed here and we can go ahead and head back outside. And for our last step, we need to make some banners, so come into a loom. We're gonna use a red banner and white dye. We're gonna do a vertical line on the right-hand side and another one with a vertical line on the left. Go to red dye and put a horizontal red line on the top and the bottom of each of these two banners. And then finally, we'll put a white border around each of these two banners. And this will be like where the logo is. So we're gonna come right here in the middle and put these two banners like that. And we'll go ahead and repeat on this side, and put these two banners like that right here. So there we have it, folks. We've completed our old Pennsylvania Railroad caboose. I hope everyone enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, Railpans.